You might know that he says he's a conservative guy. You might notice something that the news cameras don't. He's black. <laughs> hey, Channel 2, 4, and 5, you hear? There's one. <laughs> to give you a little street cred, right? There was one black guy, and he stood up there and spoke. But you know what? Freedom does not know color. <laughs> Your name is Charles Early. Thank you very much. It is an honor to speak to you. Again, if you hadn't noticed, I am black. I am. It's okay, you can laugh. <laughs> and I'm a conservative. And uh, glory to God. I have to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's the head of my life. And I'm excited and I, I hope I can say something to encourage each and every one of you today because we're sick of the labels. We're, we're tired of the labels. We're tired of being defined as what they want to define us as being. Huh? We have the freedom to be what we want to be and to do what we want to do. And we're not going to give it up for health care or anything else. We are not... We are not going to continue to work ourselves to death from early in the morning till late at night to feed this monster up in Washington, D.C. It doesn't... It doesn't matter who you put at the head of it. If you, if you put John Kerry up there, would it change anything? No, they got a system set up to enslave the people, to keep us working. Morning, I, I was speaking earlier uh, uh, to, to John and I was saying, I, I drive to work early in the morning and I already see our children out on the school bus stop, waiting for the school bus stop. Well, if they're out there at 6.15, that means mom and dad had to get up, or one of them at least had to get up at five o'clock. And you work all day long. And you come home and you're dead tired. And then you try to do what you can in the evening. In many cases, you go to a second job. You're pouring your life out. And then someone else comes along and says, we need another cut of your money. We got 47% of the people in the country paying nothing, but I need another cut of what you're making. It is not sustainable. It is not right. We're not going to sit here and play games with, well, is it socialism or not? We know what it is. Let's stop playing the games. Let's stop the foolishness. You know you're not a racist. Why are you letting people, why are you debating that foolishness? Don't even debate it. Because it's not about that. We're not talking about the Emancipation Proclamation. We're talking about our finances. We're talking about our family. We're talking about our children. We're talking about the freedom to go where we want to go. Do what we want to do. Buy what we want to buy. And see the doctor we want to see if we want to see one. That's what we're talking about. Let's get off. The, the foolishness has got to stop. Right. We've got to stand up and explain what is conservatism? Why is it good for America? Don't just call yourself a label. Explain who you are, what you are, and be proud of it and be, be uh, 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 confident and stand up and express this is what conservatism is and this is why it would be best for America. God bless you and God bless the USA. Good job.